Good morning and welcome to the daily devotion from Stirling Baptist Church, where every day we are turning our focus toward God as members of our church bring us reflections on his goodness. For more information about Stirling Baptist Church, go to stirlingbaptist.org and you're welcome to get in touch with us through our Facebook page or by emailing us at admin at stirlingbaptist.co.uk. Hello, I'm Ali Shoga, I'm married to John and we have three grown up children. We've been part of SBC for about 25 years, with a few years in Glasgow in between. For many years I've worked with children, young people and their families. This has been in a professional context and also through church and other voluntary activities. I'm currently reading the Bible in chronological order. So a while ago I read the books of Kings and Chronicles and a sort of prophets all together, following the timeline of the story of God's people in the Old Testament. More recently I've been reading the Gospel accounts of Jesus and I've read the story of Jesus welcoming children in the books of Matthew, Mark and Luke. I'd like to read you the verses from the book of Luke. This is Luke 18, 15 to 17. People were also bringing babies to Jesus to have him touch them. When the disciples saw this, they rebuked them. But Jesus called the children to him and said, Let the little children come to me and do not hinder them. For the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. I tell you the truth, anyone who will not receive the kingdom of God like a little child will never enter it. When I was younger, the importance of children's and youth work in the church that I attended then was based on the premise that children are the church of the future. I saw a different way of looking at the role of children and young people in the church at a Christian worship and teaching event, Spring Harvest, that we've attended for many years. A large banner in one of the venues for the many hundreds of children and young people said, children are the church of today and the leaders of tomorrow. At the moment, parents are having to do even more of this nurturing themselves. We all need to remember, though, that children and young people have much to contribute now and so much to teach adults about faith, trust, love for God, and care for others and the planet. There are times when the truth of God's care for us, expressed in a way that children can understand, is what I need to hear. There are days I find myself singing a song that expresses everything I need to know. I thought of this song at the end of the gathering when we had discussed and prayed about the opportunities and challenges that the church faces and then the silent church the next day. We now have a whole new set of challenges and opportunities with the COVID-19 lockdown. So adults, of course, you want to encourage the children and young people that you know in their relationships with God at this challenging time. But let them encourage you in yours. Jesus loved and welcomed children, and we can be children together with his Father and our Father. I won't sing as I want you to keep listening, but I hope you're saying this later with the actions. So forget this is for children, the first generation of children to hear this are adults now, as it was written by Nigel and Joe Hemming nearly 20 years ago. Here it is a poem then, or a declaration of faith, if you like. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God, and he holds us in his hands. He's higher than a skyscraper, deeper than a submarine, 
wider than the universe beyond my wildest dreams. And he's known me and he's loved me since before the world began. How wonderful to be a part of God's amazing plan. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. And he holds us in his hands. Amen. Thank you.